Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of All Things IDA. This is going to be a very short episode where we show you how to enumerate the imports. So let's get started. So the imports uh, is what we see in the imports window. So if we say uh, imports and these are the imports. Now these imports are created uh, through the database creation time by the loader modules basically and also uh, usually by convention you can see a special color here and uh, we can do something synthetic uh, after the fact after it's loaded and uh, for example let's create a segment let's say from 1000 to 2000 sorry the segment name let's call it uh, my imports for example and base 0 the, the trick here now is gonna be what we type here is a special class so if we type the class extern this is what will give this uh, extern name here uh, colors <coughs> So you can see here, this is the export. So if I simply uh, create a DD and give it a name, my funk, for example, and so on, if, if I give it a prototype, and so on, and I can create data items here. If I change the class real quick and call it data, it will change the way it's displayed. So. Uh, really what we see here is just um, the class is, is what dictates uh, those uh, display and so on now the fact that I created that segment does not mean it's gonna show in uh, so here if I make another DD and call it my funk 2 for example and so on if I go to the imports window or let's say reopen it and search for uh, my funk of course I, I can't find it so there, there are APIs that we have to go through uh, to create uh, the imports so we can enumerate them as uh, we'll show you in this episode but unfortunately those APIs are not accessible through either Python so let's now see how we can actually programmatically enumerate the stuff we see in the imports basically we want to see how many modules and then for every module we want to get the name those functionality just for retrieval and enumeration purposes are in nalt header file and if we search for the word import we go to the section where it talks about the imports so the first thing is get import module quantity so uh, here for example we have quantity imported modules for example let's run and here it says we have 12 now let's see how we can display the names of the individual modules and then uh, let's see how we can get the individual uh, symbols within every module so here we have get module import name which takes uh, this will be mapped to the output and this the index so if we walk from 0 to the quantity minus 1 we can uh, get the names so here uh, index uh, you can say print module name is and uh, we can simply call it here di directly and give it the index okay let's clear the screen and here we have module name etc now let's see how we can display the individual names uh, per each module if we scroll down a bit you can see here we have some kind of a callback and the actual enumeration method now the enumeration method is uh, as we can see in C++, it takes enum callback and so on and so on. Um, that can be tricky to actually call directly in uh, Python. 
So I'm going to show you uh, how behind the scenes uh, this works and how we can work with it. So if I go to the PY wraps, if you refer back to the introductory video I did about IDA Python, these are where the internals of IDA Python. If we go to PY and Alt, we have additional handwritten code here that takes care of the enumeration. So basically, we expose uh, with the same name. If we basically look for uh, an alt.i, we should see a rename here. So we rename the internally written uh, wrapper to the original name, but we ignore the name from the SDK. So if we look back at, uh, at the API, import names, we give it the module index and we give it the callback and also a user uh, uh, data that we get back in the callback. So the callback will be called inside the enumeration method giving us the address and the name and the ordinal of the import and it will give us back the param. So behind the scenes the handwritten wrapper uh, what it does, it does call the C++ version. So in Python, uh, the enum imports takes the module index and some callable Python object. And we pass that uh, Python callable into, uh, as, a, as a param, which will be picking up inside our uh, also callback that is Python wrapped callback. So we take that param and we convert it to, uh, we just cast it back to a PY object and we use the Python C API to call it and we pass all the stuff that we got from the native site. So in reality, uh, if I want to enumerate uh, imports, I have to simply looking at the sources is going to pass the EA, the name, and the ordinal. So let's... Uh, and here, this is just a terminator uh, for the arguments, like we're not passing any more arguments. So we have to just have a callable of any kind. Could be a class with the underscore, underscore, call, underscore, underscore, or a regular callable, just like a function, and so on. So... Uh, EA name and ordinal. Okay, so here let's make a function def, uh, uh, let's say print name, EA name and ordinal. And uh, let's see if we need to return anything. So here in the callback itself it says uh, return one or uh, zero stop enumeration. So if you're using this to search for a certain uh, import, we can return zero to stop. But in our case, I want to display everything. So I'm going to keep enumerating. So here I'm going to say return one and say print. I'm going to indent a bit. And uh, let's also display the ordinal. Maybe with like the hash symbol. Okay. All right, so now we can uh, go back and uh, call this one. And if we wanna verify how this looks like in Python, it's uh, just module index and some callable. So, so now that we have module index, we can simply call each one of them. So the index and the callable. That's it. That should be good enough uh, to display everything we see here in the screen on this screen. So let's run. And uh, here you know the zero zero zero, just a uh, ordinal zero or not set basically. Some cases, some stuff are imported by ordinal. We see some meaningful ordinal, but otherwise, that's how we get those. Now, of course, if we if we know the name, although if we're looking exactly in the i data, that's the way to go. 
because uh, if we we can do it uh, differently uh, but it's not gonna be like uh, solid so for example if we know the name let's say here you can say either API dot get name EA if you remember we worked this with names uh, uh, previous video so we give it whether it's local or not so I'm gonna say it's not local and let's say here so the difference this gave me exactly exit windows but suppose uh, this was named differently I change the name and let's go and rename some other pointer let's just put the name here so it was ex okay so if I run this, it's going to give me something else, not necessarily in the import window. So that's, uh, so this basically is a good, uh, good way to get those uh, imports. And later on in future videos, if you want to inspect um, import hooks, so if there are hooks in the import table, we might want to programmatically go, go to all the addresses of all the import pointers from the import table and inspect those pointers so that's the systematic way to do it so finally uh, as a recap we get the module quantity we start the enumeration uh, for every module we get the name and uh, then we call the enum, imp uh, enum import names for a given uh, module index, we pass the callback, the callback returns, uh, receives those things and can decide to stop or not. So if I just return zero here real quick, just to sort of the last thing, it will, uh, it will display one import per module since we're not going to continue enumeration. So here for current 32, we just display one and, and so on, just one per each and so on. So that's it for today. I hope you found this uh, video useful. Uh, stay tuned for the next videos. We, we will use this in a more uh, practical way. All right. Thank you and see you next time.